Growing up, I had dreams and aspirations, but always felt like the kid that didn't fit in. For the most part, I wasn't a bad kid, but when I made the transition into adulthood, I turned to the streets for guidance. This led to getting locked up in juvenile hall, doing time in CYA, and eventually a 120 month sentence in federal prison. I had a lot of time to think and reflect during my federal sentence. So I share with you what I learned, hoping I can positively influence someone else's life with Prison Talk. What's up, everybody? Big Hurt, Prison Talk. You tuned into another episode. I have here with me Carla Short, and she's going to ask her some Prison Talk questions that I can't answer because it's from a female perspective. You guys sent us a lot of emails. I know a lot of you guys get it butt hurt because I don't answer your email. Well, I try to get to them as I can, but hopefully she can answer some of the emails that have been sent to us here recently. So, Carla, um, a lot of people ask us, how realistic is the Orange is the New Black? You know, it's a popular Netflix show. A lot of people watch it. There's a lot of, you know, hype about it. How realistic is that show? It is somewhat realistic, but in real life, you have to defend to protect your own life. And when you're in the pen, or if you're doing county, whatever it is, when you're locked up, you might have to get in quite a few dangerous fights just in order to let them know that, look, I'm not that one. You're not going to take me, my body, and nothing else that I got. You have to stand up and just be like that bull and let them know. Like, when I got into a fight because somebody tried to come at me at a broomstick talking about what they were going to do to me, and it it referred to doing sexual, submitting it inside of me and doing other things, and I'm like, hold up, wait a minute. Either you back up or I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> Simply put, mm -hmm. you know. And I literally had to end up fighting and breaking the broomstick on her. So is there a lot of women who, as far as who think they're calling shots here, who try to sexually uh, advance themselves on what they feel is weaker women? Yes. Mm. There is. Because um, if they feel you're weak or feel that they might be able to get over on you, they're going to try it. Mm. Not all of them, but you have those few that stand out. So when I was locked up, I kept a demeanor about myself to let you know. Mm -hmm. You come at me, trust. You're going to end up in the hospital. Because I'm not taking no for an answer. I'm not giving up nothing. Mm. That's it, and that's all. Is there a lot of women who just submit and let these women dominate them like that or take advantage of them? Yes, because um, they're in there for like drugs or something and their mind is already like weakened. Because mm. not everybody can withstand what drugs do to them. Some people, the drugs ruin their brain where it eats up the chemicals in it and it makes them weak because they see things that aren't there or they hear things and their mind has gotten physically tore down from the different chemicals in the drugs. And those are the ones that get really took advantage of. Mm. <laughs> And what are some of the things that happen to these women? I mean, you know, we see on the Orange and New Black, you know, these women are maybe assaulted in the shower or they make them, you know, do things in the closet. I mean, what are some of the things that, you know, because we're, we're trying to, you know, we, we want to let our fans know that this is not a joke. And, you know, people think, oh, you know, going to jail. And I know a lot of times it's worse than a women's jail. And so, you know, we want to let these people know it's, it's not a joke. So, I mean, what are some of the things that could happen to these women? They take broomsticks and insert them inside mm. of their vagina so far up that it just literally tears the insides up. Oh, wow. I've seen one girl have to have hysterectomy and everything else from this. Mm. I was out on the yard and I heard the screams. 
So I ran in the dorm. And they had her in the shower and they had this broom just shoving it in her. I snatched them all off of her and started calling for the guards to come and get her. Mm. She had blood everywhere. Oh, wow. And then there's also the times they'll catch them in the bed and they take whatever they can to like ruin them on the inside where the woman is no longer functionable. Mm. Or she has to have surgeries to correct the damage that has been done. So this is very sadistic stuff. Very sadistic. They thought they were trying it with me, but they found out the other way around. Right? Mm. You know, like I told them, I went to jail for with likelihood of murder. So I'm not the one you want to play with. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm a drug addict at that time. Mm -hmm. But the drugs, I'm strong enough to stand against them chemicals. I still have my brain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know people that see little red monsters chasing them from the drugs. Mm. Those are the weak ones. Those are the ones that get took advantage of. So is there, there certain females in there kind of like that are considered a shot caller than they have other ones? They kind of like gang up on these other yes. women? Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. And see, the one that thought she was a shot caller and going to send that little one on me, little did she know, I had family in there. So when y'all ran up on me, you were running on the wrong one. Because mm. y'all didn't even know who I was. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the times, they'll look, oh, that's a little white girl. You can do what you want with her. But when they find out that you're not meek and that you have a demeanor that will stand up and fight like a lion, they back up. Mm -hmm. They recognize. They recognize. But if you show that baby lion, they're going to just run right over you mm. and take everything you have. Hmm. I've seen them try to smother a girl while she was sleeping. Oh, wow. Put a pillow in her face? Yes. Because they got turned in for jumping on her. Mm. So the girl had some of her other girls come in there. Oh, wow. You know, I've seen a lot in there that I didn't want to see. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was mean and rude and crude, but I only did it when, when there was a reason for me to do it. And, and what's your experience with the, with the guards there? I mean, did you have them? <laughs> Hi, they had a male guard in there. He thought every woman that came in there to be booked was supposed to get down and suck on him. Oh, I'm being straight blunt with it. Oh wow. And I looked at him and I said, you pull it out in front of me, you think I'm gonna suck, I'm gonna bite it off. <laughs> I ain't sucking nothing. And so there was a lot of women just sucking at Peter? Yeah. They, oh wow. Cause they get privileges. Oh, so. I don't care about the privileges. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah. The privileges, hey, huh? The privilege, you might get a little extra canteen or oh wow they might take you out on the yard you know when yeah, you so throw up for an extra hour or so when you're on lockdown that's the you old peter what? trick wow uh-uh so it's just like the orange new black then because like the guards in there they think like hey you know i can have sex with the go the females i mean have you ever heard of a, a male guard getting a female inmate pregnant yes um Matter of fact, when I was locked up in, um, oh God, the name just slipped my brain. The one that's over there in LA, that's closed down. Um, Not Wayside. No, it's a woman's jail and it's over near Monterey Park. It sits on top of the hill. It's closed down. I can't think of the name of it, but it's closed down now. Okay. And they made a movie about that one. That one, when I went in there... Not Sybil Brandt, huh? Yes. Sybil Brandt. Okay. There you go, <laughs> Sybil Brandt. Okay. I went in there one time. And let me tell I was so glad to get up out of there. I thought Sacramento was something. Hmm. Sybil Brandt. Whew. What was going down in there? The guards were raping the women 
and there was a few of them that were pregnant by them. Uh, wow. They made a movie about it. Yeah, so the guards are basically having their way. They just was in there doing... Oh, that jail reminded me of... I don't know, it just had a cold, eerie feeling when I went to that jail. Mm. It was like, I knew I had to get out of there. Yeah, yeah. If I wanted to survive, I had to get out of there. Because I was locked up there for like two weeks on a whole case. <laughs> Back in the days, in the late 70s. And I'm telling you, them two weeks... It was like I barely slept, and I didn't even have no drugs that time, okay? Oh, <laughs> but I, I was, felt like I was a mess because I couldn't let myself sleep. I was afraid to go to sleep. So all of a sudden, you'd hear women screaming, being drugged down the hallway so the guards by guards. Take them in and they just go do whatever. They do whatever. They raped them. They beat them. They, If they didn't do what they wanted, they were beat. Oh, wow. They, that was a very rude, crude jail. Wow. And that is a perfect example of why people don't want to go to jail. I have never, I mean, I've been to jails from here to Oklahoma and back. And never have I been in, in a jail as bad as Civil Brand. Wow. That is a perfect example what, what, what of being worse so, than Orange is New Black. <laughs> wow. Well. Cause I remember that I remember that show when I was a kid, that movie Silver Brand. And they finally shut that down because it was under investigation. Because it was, so it was much, under investigation. Yeah, so much corruption. Corruption from the officers doing what they did to all the inmates. Um, they finally had enough complaints that they did an investigation and found it to be true. Wow. That it was like the prison of hell, and it was a county jail. Oh. But it's the county jail of hell. Yeah. Literal. That's crazy. The Orange of the New Black has nothing on Sybil Brain. Wow. If people really want to know what it's like, look up the movie that is about Sybil Brand Institution. Wow. And they say the woman that that jail was built after, named after, was very hardcore. Hmm. Civil brand. There you have it, you guys. Uh, Carla Short giving us some prison talk stories and um, hopefully educating you that women's jail is no joke. You thought men's jail was bad. The women go hard in the paint, y'all. So uh, you girls out there who are running wild, you better wisen up. Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at FreshOutSeries.com.